this gives you purpose and it's a lot different when you have to provide for your family and put food on the table so it's a good motivator such a such a blessing having a son but yeah it's full on you don't get much rest around here especially of him running around eh? hey you want to go for a ride yeah let's go That's how I see this. This is a this is a title eliminator. And get you can get stuffed if you don't think it is. So for me, um it's just another guy, right? He's a former champion, yeah, but timing is everything. It's my time. That's right, I walked out to for what, UFC Auckland? And then um Oh since then I've always walked out to it, so I guess it, we have to keep keep the uh, tradition going for UFC 269. Everyone in New Zealand knows this song. This is like a classic New Zealand banger. But um, close to my heart being Māori. So it um, just brings me back home when I walk out. Makes me feel relaxed, makes me feel calm and just kind of proud to represent my people on the world stage. So um, that's why I walk out to it. So Vegas. Better be ready because it's going to be a party when I walk out. Well, his first time making the weight, so um, I want to push him out. I want to make him feel the weight cut, make him realize he ain't the fastest anymore. Phantom weight, you might be fast, but flyweight is just different. So, yeah, so we'll um, see what he's going to bring to the table. If he wants to sit back and counter, We'll draw it out. If he wants to come forward, we'll catch him coming forward. But yeah, it's gonna be a good night. Been a big build up, but I'm ready for these big moments. More than ready. <laughs> of course, Kai all the way. <laughs> hey, you know who Klein's dad is? New Zealand's best boxer ever, David Tour. Oh yeah? Yeah. So he knows his boxing. <laughs> I'm gonna say second. Nah. Second round, Coke of France. Walk away. Walk away, yep, walk away. It'll be a real walk away this time. <laughs> back again. <laughs> hey, don't blame me, but blame Herb Dean. He's done a few dodgy calls lately. Oh, you got training and stuff? Yeah, so just bang out two sessions back to back. Do you have to look good for your training? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got me. Bastard. <laughs> Heading to the pool, meeting Dave Wood for a breathing uh, CO2 tolerance training. It's pretty much what free divers would do. Uh, we're doing the same. So you'll be probably asking yourself, why the hell are you learning how to free dive? Um, so this is one of our secrets that we uh, have integrated into the city kickboxing program. We've uh, got a specialist that uh, works on high performance. So Dave, Dave Wood's been in our camps for uh, quite a while now. So yeah, he's been a massive asset to, um, to the team and, and to me personally. He's a great guy and he's got a lot of knowledge, you know. You need to stay calm. and stay composed in between the rounds you know you've got one minute to maximize that recovery and if you're not being efficient and breathing the right way you're gonna just hyperventilate and not be able to not be able to perform at your best so that's why we're heading to the pool and uh, we're gonna yeah put ourselves in some uncomfortable positions and then just push through and stay relaxed and stay calm so we're just going to use the pool today and we're going to do some uh, some sort of breath hold work, CO2 tolerance type uh, breath training. Uh, but also uh, practicing for him just to switch off up here um, and focus internally. So yeah, it's a bit of a combination of both breathing and sort of mindset work.
run, let them go, and then push to the end. So basically, you're getting one breath. Remember, when you come up, it'll be uh, on an inhale hold, so you'll come up. And when you fill up, you don't want to fill up heaps up into here because then you get that pressure. Yeah, nice, Just bro. stay relaxed. Just keep going forward. I love it, I love it. But well, that freaks some people out, man. Yeah. Especially when you rip their goggles off. <laughs> Ever had to try fight someone off your back under the water? Here they have. <laughs> Not your conventional strength um, weightlifting, more uh, more around for fighting. So we're not <coughs> lifting too heavy, just firing muscles that um, I guess get neglected in combat sports. So firing the muscles that we need to be, which which will be happening on December 11th in the UFC 269. Making sure we're rolling, <coughs> firing all our muscles when we're punching. Very important uh, formula to the end product, which is the fight night. Be hard, but it'll be worth it. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Ten seconds, bring on back. Five seconds, bring on back. Out and back. Out and back. You know, Coach Sons is one of the best out there. Coaches, you know, some of the best athletes ever in New Zealand. Sonny Bull, Quay Cooper, Israel. Your yeah, boy, no. Um, <laughs> but no, it's um. Another great asset, you know. So many good coaches that we um, have in, uh, on the team, not just you know Eugene. Kia ora koutou, Kaikara France here. Still here in Tamaki Makovid, uh, but I'm excited to leave for UFC 269 in Vegas. Uh, we'll speak shortly with my teammate Blood Diamond, the latest UFC New Zealand fighter. With the UFC um, making your UFC debut, how does that compare to uh, your fighting achievements? Uh, it's, it's another step, you know, uh, like, I guess uh, for me it's just that, that journey, uh, starting from just a novice padded fight to now being on, on, on the world's biggest stage in uh, mixed martial arts is, is quite a cool feeling. That, yeah. If you know Bloods and you've seen his King of the Ring fights, always the most entertaining walkouts because you just never know what kind of crazy stuff this guy's going to do fall off the stage or <laughs> you'll be dancing or something so no we can't wait so I'm yeah excited. appreciate you being on Te Toa and um, sharing your story and um, yeah just being an inspiration for kickboxers that are um, growing up in New Zealand and now converting to MMA and now making the UFC debut so amazing journey and uh, it's just the beginning okay. uh, we're both exciting like obviously he's got a lot of um, Good knockouts in the UFC, you know, for the best in the bantamweight division. And um, even though he has um, come off second best, they were exciting fights. And for me, um, you know, my last fight finally lived up to my nickname, Don't Blink. And uh, I was about to go change that nickname as well if I didn't get a finish. <laughs> but no, uh, he's, um, he's exciting. I, I like to come forward as well. And um, it just makes sense for this flyweight division at the moment. There's a lot of people watching. You know, Brandon Moreno's doing really well. He's um, been a big star for the, for the UFC, especially being the first born Mexican fighter to win a, win a belt. So um, me, and, me and Brandon had a big fight. 
um, and it was close. Uh, but a lot has changed, you know, he's gotten a lot better and so have I. I've evolved, I've adapted and learnt from um, from that fight. And uh, yeah, experience is, is um, a massive learning curve for me. Now, um, being in a, great, a good place in my life, I've got a new new purpose of my, my son, putting food on the table for my, my wife and kid. And um, yeah, just in, a, in a, a completely different mindset now. It's it's not just doing it for my own selfish needs, it's doing it for to better my, my family's life and to you know, build, um, put New Zealand on the map. I'm not naive, I'm not going to run into anything, I'm going to be smart and methodical and I'm going to pick my shots and, and when I find my chance then I'll take it and I'll put them away. So that's how I see the fight happening and um, yeah, it's going to be a fun fight.